Islam. While condemning the systematic and targeted attacks on Hazar in Afghanistan, in particular, the recent attack at Hajj Educational Center in Kabul, in which 56 students, most of whom were female, were killed and at least 115 were injured on September 30th, 2022. We gathered today in solidarity with the Hazari community who are subjected to genocide in Afghanistan. As a part of the worldwide campaign to stop Hazara genocide, which has so far mobilized more than 7 million supporters on Twitter alone. We present the following specific demands to the international community. Number one, we call on the United Nations and the broader international community to recognize the systematic attacks against the Hazara in Afghanistan as a crime of genocide. These attacks bear the hallmark of all elements of the crime of genocide as per the UN Convention on the Prevention and the Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. Number two, we call on the United Nations to urgently form a commission of inquiry into the genocide of Hazara people in Afghanistan. The commission should have the full mandate to investigate, gather information, and report to United Nations on their findings and to recommend specific measures to stop and prosecute the crimes of genocide against Hazare in Afghanistan. Number three, we call on the countries in the international community to take urgent measure for the protection of Hazara in Afghanistan, including by creating an internationally assisted and monitored self-defense mechanism. Number four, we call on the International Criminal Court to open a case on the authorities faced by Hazara people in Afghanistan and to investigate genocide against Hazara. And number five, we call on the countries to prioritize the resettlement of Hazara refugees as a special group of highly vulnerable people under serious threat of genocide in Afghanistan. In the continuous, I am going to provide a very brief context about the entire demands that we I just read about. The current state of systematic attacks on Hazara fulfill elements of a definition of genocide. These attacks have been specifically targeting Hazara across Afghanistan in all aspects of their public life. The Hazara has long faced relentless systematic violence based on membership in an ethnic group and agreed so under the Taliban regime in May 1948. This had led international organizations like the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum and Genocide Watch to raise the alarm on Hazara genocide. While we honor the victims of widespread violence in Afghanistan from all ethnic groups, the Hazara face such systematic attack merely based on ethnicity and faith. 
and VCOS is already strongly and openly adherent to human rights, especially human rights, freedom of speech, and education. Since August 2021, genocide attacks against the Hazara have increased significantly with an emerging pattern of targeting Hazara youth. These systematic attacks have made it difficult for the Hazara people to exist as the Hazara are attacked in educational centers, places of worship, hospitals, sporting facilities, public gathering, highways, wedding halls, and schools, and many more. Therefore, we believe that the Hazara are enduring a continued genocide in Afghanistan. Thank you very much for your attention.